Hey everyone, it's Sean with Pew Pew Tactical. Let me introduce you to my little friend. This is the Staccato CS, their new hotness for concealed carry. Speaking of concealed carry, if you want us to keep bringing you good reviews like this, please help us out by hitting the like and subscribe. It will help us defeat the algorithmic overlords. For your assistance, we will happily provide you with the following gun meme. All right, so let's talk about the CS here. It's a little bit different than the C2, which is the smaller frame gun popular from Staccato. Uh, this is about 1.2 inches width, a little bit wider up here where the ambidextrous safety is located. But it's also, again, a 7075 billet aluminum frame and has this polymer wrap on the exterior. Now, this gun, despite its small size, has 16 round capacity. Uh, so that keeps it very competitive with the other guns that are out there. But there's also some benefits to this particular setup that are really good. The fun thing about the idea behind this gun is that there are a lot of pocket pistols out there on the market right now. But when you really think about how concealable they are, you lose so much functionality with the usefulness. You can sure tuck away a smaller pistol, but would you really want to fight with it? Would you really want to use that if you absolutely had to, to defend your life or the life of a loved one? The answer is a lot of times no. Staccato set out to change that with the CS, and we think they've done a pretty good job. The Pew Pew crew is on site at the Staccato release event in Georgetown, Texas. And we got a chance to talk to Nate, CEO, an extremely tall guy, about the new CS. Man, we are shooting a new gun, and I've got Nate, CEO of Staccato, to tell us all about it. Nate? Well, Sean, thanks so much for being with us today. I'm excited to share the Staccato CS with you and your viewers. Um, you've had a chance to shoot it a little bit already. Yes, sir. As you know, it's um, it's smaller than a C2, right. so it's pure staccato, just smaller. It's a three and a half inch barrel. Uh, it is still 16 plus one capacity, even though uh, we've reduced the size of both the of the grip module. Uh, yes, yeah, so if you look at this magazine, those of you can picture or seen our current magazines, it's considerably narrower. Uh, than those and so we shrank this as much as we could to allow for a grip that's easier to conceal right. and also one that is more comfortable for more hand sizes right so one feedback we've had for consumers is they love our guns and how they shoot but for some people with small or medium-sized hands sometimes they feel like grip is maybe a little bit uh, a, a little too much yes. and so all of that is incorporated in here external extractor that's easier for for serviceability than the internal extractors a lot of patent pending technology inside of this. Uh, a bunch of things around the barrel, the recoil system, the geometry of the barrel and the barrel lockup. Um, and uh, other than that, it shoots like a staccato, which means, you know, it is insanely accurate. It's reliable, uh, incredibly fun to shoot. Yeah, absolutely. So my experience so far has been a little limited, but we're gonna get some more rounds down range. Great job, man. Uh, this thing has been a lot of fun to shoot and it's uh, impressively easier to control. I was expecting a little more muzzle flip, but uh, it's doing a good job. Hey, we wanna thank Nate for having us out today and Kristen, of course, for making this all possible. This event is enormous. We're gonna show you a little bit more about this CS coming up. Okay, so first off, we're gonna talk about the magazine. This is a redesigned magazine. It is different from all of the previous products Staccato has come out with, and it holds 16 rounds. It fits in this smaller grip. That was one of the things that Staccato learned feedback from their shooters was, hey, my hand is not enormous. I need something that's gonna work for me. So they decrease the size of the grip which causes the magazine to need to be redesigned. So it's smaller overall. And one peculiar little observation here is that the angle on the follower is a little bit more steep than you might be used to. And that makes loading that first round just a slightly, uh, slightly more challenging. But after you get the first one in, it's a piece of cake. Hey, we're gonna jump into the specifics on the CS right now, but before we do, we'd like to give a shout out to Silencer Shop for sponsoring this video. You probably know them from their kiosks at your local gun store. So taking the magazine, let's insert it and talk about the ergonomics of this gun. So again, we mentioned the overall grip size 
It's a little bit smaller, a little bit less deep, and it also has a lighter texture. The grip texture on the Staccato P is fierce, and I love it because of that. But this is a more concealed carry application, so you don't want this to necessarily be scratching up your clothing or uh, inhibiting you from drawing it smoothly because the grip is so aggressive that it grabs your clothing. Uh, moving on from there, you can see we've got ambidextrous safety. You also have a grip safety, like the standard 2011 design. Pretty easy for me and my big hands to reach the mag release right here. And you can also re reach the uh, slide stop or slide release right here with a little bit of an adjustment or using your other hand. So the ergonomics are overall really good. I think smaller handed people are going to appreciate staccatos listening to their pleas for something a little more manageable. Okay, so we're gonna shoot some groups now to test the accuracy. We're at seven yards. This time I'm gonna shoot five shot groups. We're gonna do three of those. So we get a little bit better group sample to uh, really test out how accurate the gun is. We've got a three and a half inch barrel on this thing. It's a bull barrel. So by rights, it should be a little more snappy, but I suspect that it'll probably still be pretty accurate. We've got a hollow sun on here, but we've also got the Dawson Precision Rear Sight, uh, which is really cool. It allows you to pick up that front fiber optic sight and see it through the optics. So you've got an immediate backup or redundancy in the uh, overall sighting options. We're gonna shoot those groups now, and hopefully my cold fingers won't let me down today. Here we go. Well, it would help if I did. <laughs> It would help. All right, we're gonna shoot the groups now, and hopefully my cold fingers won't let me down. All right, a little bit high. There we go, one more. All right, let's go check them out. So just looking through the irons, I was using those to shoot this first group realized that I was uh, holding a little bit high, came over to this group, pulled it together a little better, just kind of seeing how the gun was handling and dealing with the recoil. It's there, but it's definitely controllable. And uh, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit more about why I think that is later on. But then finally down here, pulling the group together and I had the target, the wind blew the target forward on this one. Uh, so I'm not going to count that one necessarily, but really good accuracy uh, out of such a small gun. There's no doubt that the trigger is absolutely contributing to the accuracy of this firearm. But before we talk about that, I want to remind you that all of the information is going to be in the review over on the website at pewpewtactical.com. Check out the link below in the description. So let's talk about the trigger. got a wall right there you get a little bit of pre-travel and then you hit a pretty solid wall we're gonna break the shot right here and then reset right there audible and tactile I can feel it and hear it and then I'm gonna break the shot again with reset right there if you're resetting during recoil, you can set up your next shot pretty quickly. Just like that. All right, so let's talk about our final thoughts with the Staccato CS here. I really like it. It is a smaller package that is still very effective. And why is it effective? I think the secret is in this grip. It's still big enough that you can control the amount of muzzle flip that you get from a nine millimeter in a lighter, smaller package. And that's really what you need in a situation like this. You're gonna be drawing this from a concealed position and you're still able to deliver accurate fire and engage targets like you need to. And Staccato's done a great job with it. Now, 
with these features, you have fun things like the base plate of the mag has a little grip action right here in case that gets wadded up. And other cool things like this. Look at the fluting on the barrel there. There's some reasons for that. Some things on this bull barrel that we haven't been able to talk about, but one of the things that Staccato also focused on with this firearm is making it run longer. Now with the Staccato P, I've run that through a training and at about 1,500 to 2,000 rounds, it's either gonna need more oil or it's gonna need cleaned. And this one, they really spent some time on some things that we can't talk about just yet, making it last longer. So run longer without more maintenance. And that's great because uh, the precision engineering that they use to put these guns together mean closer tolerances. And that makes things like shooting them a lot sometimes build up and start causing the slide to drag a little bit but we're going to keep testing this one and we'll report back to you but i'm hearing some people have gotten into the 4,000 rounds maybe even more than that without having to come back in and clean them up so pretty excited about that now these are on the website right now you can go to staccato.com and check them out there they're going to be shipping sometime we think around december not exactly sure but that leaves us to our final thought, which is what is the cost? And the cost as Staccato is a higher end firearm. We know that. And it is $2,500 for this. I know some people are going to be screaming about that. Uh, others will just look at it and say, yep, that's a quality firearm. I'm willing to pay that and accept that you're getting a good value with this gun. But that's going to do it for the Staccato CS. Well, thank you guys for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hey, just got a note from the head office. Before you leave, please make sure to like the video. It really helps out demonetized... Ch demonetized? Oh, demonetized channels like us. So please hit the like. Thanks for watching.